promos going on. All right, we are back with the live show here on Radio Zab 104.9 FM HD3 and 1110 AM. Uh, very exciting moment for me because we have uh, Rizwan Manji uh, as well on the line with us right at 3 p.m. Uh, Rizwan, you're live on air. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well. How going on your end? It's, it's going well. Can you guys hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you perfectly fine. Okay, good. Because I just figured out how to use all this, all this <laughs> stuff. So hopefully this is gonna work. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I think it's I think it's wonderful. I think it's going fine. So we don't have anything to worry about. But I'm so excited to have you on. Uh, oh, I'm excited to be here. Thank you for right. having me. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for taking the time out and uh, just appearing honestly, uh, because it's a it's a big deal for me. Uh, reason being, I. Just before you had called me and, you know, we uh, started the meeting, uh, I was telling the listeners that uh, when I watched uh, American Desi as a kid, uh, I was so inspired because I didn't uh, know, uh, I didn't know you were a smiley, right? Uh, and then there was like this rumor because all of us friends watched it and they was like, oh, you know, there's an smiley actor. Smiley. I was like, no way, there cannot be an smiley actor. There are no smiley actors, you know? So it was such an inspirational uh, thing for me uh, to, found, to find out that you're, uh, that you're an smiley and that there isn't uh, a possibility for one of us to uh, go into the creative arts and you know to be on the big screen and to do acting and to do all of those things so uh, besides I think Shahzad Roy, I don't know if you know of Shahzad Roy. he's a Pakistani singer uh, oh yeah he's a smiley yeah so oh besides, that's awesome yeah besides him I didn't know of any other like a smileys uh, actually making it on the big screen there's so, there's a there's a whole bunch of us as smileys now in the I in see. the entertainment industry so we're uh, we're we're there and we're we're yes. we're plugging away even though yeah. everything sort of shut down for the last little bit we're still trying <laughs> to get uh, to do things so it's awesome yeah that is awesome. <laughs> so for me especially right now is a is a very big moment for me you know might be not, uh, not for you but it's a big moment I, for me. Oh, as, as, as a kid and and then i think i even told you about stories right so i had the opportunity to meet you uh, through stories uh, and uh, the I, I remember you calling and leaving a voicemail on my phone i still have it saved uh, <laughs> oh, I, I was like Thing. I was like, I cannot believe Rizwan Manji called me. Uh, and I was so, I was calling other people for stories and I was so nervous because I was like, I hope they were able to do it. We were like worried people <laughs> were going to say no, but it, you were awesome. First of all, uh, I don't know, there's probably, I don't know how many of your listeners got, <laughs> listeners got a chance to see it, but you were absolutely amazing in stories and we were so lucky to have you. So thank you, Rizwan. It means a lot coming from you. It means a lot. So, uh, you know, I just want to uh, go right into the show, you know, to be honest. And uh, I want to, you know, since we only have about 30 minutes and I have so many questions. <laughs> uh, and uh, I hope this will be an interesting, you know, uh, topic for others uh, as well, because uh, like I said, we don't have that many uh, South Asian actors uh, in the Hollywood industry. Yeah, we, of course, we have it in Bollywood and Lollywood industry. That's what it's for. Uh, but in the Hollywood industry, it is a very, I think, uh, a, a completely different ball, ball game uh, because uh, you're not just uh, trying to make it in there uh, as an actor, but you're also trying to establish yourself as, uh, you know, someone from the South Asian community. Yeah. that uh, you are able to, uh, you know, meet the same par, you are able to, uh, you know, get in with the competition with the rest of the world. So it is an international viewership, it's an international audience. Uh, so the kind of experiences you had as an actor and you have as an actor, because man, uh, your wiki is like full, you know, like literally <laughs> so much stuff, you know, and uh, you started in the uh, 1990s, like 1999? Yes, I graduated school in, in uh, 1994. Five, uh, and I did a lot of theater first, and okay. it was very hard to get into uh, um, TV and film. The theater was a little bit more willing to, especially because I had been trained in Shakespeare. So it was very, it was easy to. They were doing a lot of like colorblind casting where they didn't, it didn't matter what ethnicity was. But TV was still TV and film was very specific, right? So it took me a, it took me a while before I was able to get like. Uh, um, you know, some work in TV and film. So it definitely was more difficult than, than theater, which is where I started. Yeah. So like going on that journey, you know, I mean, this was some time ago. Uh, and how were things like, you know, when you started out, when you started out uh, as an actor, yeah. when you were, yeah, of course you started out uh, from theater. Uh, but, yeah. you know, how was uh, the auditions, you know, kind of thing? Yeah. Uh, this is a little bit off than what we had discussed, but I, I feel like it's, a, it's something, you know, that yeah. might be informational. No, I... I have no problem. So it it was very difficult in the beginning. Um, I 
you know, just w when starting off with anything, you're, you're, you're obviously pigeonholed as something, right? And we, we look uh, brown. And at that time, uh, there was a lot of like cab drivers and convenience store owners and those kind of things, which, you know, was, was, was fine to get started, but it was, it was, it's sort of like, this is the stereotypical thing that they wanted you to do. Uh, so there was a lot of that. There was also, you know, a lot of terrorist stuff that was, that was, uh, yeah. uh, that was being offered to us. And I decided fairly early on that I wasn't going to do that. So I didn't get, mm -hmm. uh, I just didn't get myself into that situation. Um, I, I did end up doing it one time, but it was basically happened sort of inadvertently. I got asked to audition for 24. Okay. Uh, and um, when I when I was asked to audition, I was asked to audition for the Muslim, uh, prof the professor, professor of Muslim studies. And so I did the okay. audition, I did well, and they were like, okay, we want to hire him. But I, what little did I know that they didn't give me the correct sides. They were just the, oh. the, the auditions. They had, now we want you to play the bomb maker. And it's um, hard when you get offered that part, even though I said I didn't want to audition when I got the job. And it's, you know, at that time when you're struggling for money, you have a new yeah. kid. I ended up taking it. And uh, if you guys watched the last season of Keeper Sutherland, I'm the one who ended up kill killing Anil Kapoor. So, <laughs> uh, so unfortunately, I did do that. But most of the time, I've said no to that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, so what, what was the reason? Was it odd that, you know, like, uh, maybe you were like, you know, being thrown at all of these different, you know, roles that, you know, you were like, I'm not interested in this. It's it's it is very it's it's very hard because um, you know you everybody makes their their decision of what they can and can't do right it's just like right. you uh, even it does it's not just uh, uh, in the acting world as people as human beings and our jobs and everything we we make we make things okay this is a, this is what I can do and this is what I can't do mm -hmm. and I had just decided that I wasn't comfortable with that that's not the perception that I wanted to show. I didn't want to then go back to Jamaat Khan and be like, "Hey, yeah. this guy was playing the terrorist," and think it just was it was a little it was a little difficult for me. Yeah. So that's where I, um, um, you know. But I had I had done a bunch of stuff. It's funny that how many Muslims watch Twenty Four because yeah. I had been until that point nobody knew I, that I was an actor, and then I was on Twenty Four, and all of a sudden I'm like, "Hey, I saw you on Twenty Four, and I'm like, oh my god, of all the things that you watch, that's what you watch." So. You know. <laughs> Uh, and I, I love outsourced as well. It's one of my oh, favorites. I can watch it like uh, on repeat. <laughs> it's my it's it was one of my favorite jobs, and I just loved all the people. We're still friends to this day. Uh, it was one of the best experiences. I know there was some controversy with that job as well, yeah. uh, but I really really uh, enjoyed it. I thought uh, you know it was a big step for NBC to have a cast with this many. Yeah. Uh, brown people in it, you know, which Absolutely. they had never done before. Uh, so yeah, it was a great opportunity. And I also got to play somebody that was, you know, a little bit mean. And a, yeah. it was, I had a lot of fun with it. That kind of comedy I really loved. And the slapstick <laughs> and, the, you know, the falling and the balloons. I mean, there was a whole bunch of stuff that I really enjoyed. So I still, and I'm just introducing, I have three kids. And they're not quite old enough to watch Outsource, but we've started watching some of the episodes, the ones that are like uh, safe for them. <laughs> And they, yeah, yeah. And, they, and they like, it's still some, so they're like, oh, daddy. And I'm like, um, <laughs> so we, we started watching it and they really liked it. So. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that, that's amazing. And and then recently you did uh, Shit's Creek uh, yes. and uh, Perfect Harmony. And, yeah. Uh, all, both of those shows are very, you know, like uh, they're, they're comic as well. You know, your role is a, a little bit comical as well. So have yeah, you been like always what... attracted to that side of the I, acting? I have even so, like, so I started doing, um, uh, I, I kind of knew that I wanted to do this in uh, junior high school and middle school. And that's what I leaned towards. I felt like when you're a kid, a short kid, who's not very good at sort of basketball and, <laughs> and other stuff, and you lean towards, hey, I'm going to be funny. And that's how I'm going <laughs> to stand out. So I always realized early on that I, uh, you know, the humor was where, where um, I felt more comfortable. And uh, so I was in a lot of the plays that were uh, comedic, even the Shakespeare plays I were in, I was playing the comedic roles. And so uh, that's kind of where I landed. I've done, I've done a bunch of dramatic stuff, 
uh, but I feel more comfortable in the comedy. <laughs> in the comedy yeah, area. and I think you you excel in that as well. Oh, thank you. It, thank it you. comes naturally for you, so you know you can keep a straight face on uh, <laughs> even while you're making a joke. So that my, is... <laughs> unfortunately, it doesn't help when raising the kids because even when I'm yelling at them, they don't they are not listening. They don't take they're it like serious. ah, they're just laughing. They're like, oh, you're not serious. I'm like, no, no, I'm actually serious. <laughs> And they don't take oh, me seriously. <laughs> that that is crazy. But how about how about like you know like you, you just said that you wanted to do this uh, uh since you were in junior high, right? Yeah. So was it like a calling that you wanted to be an actor and that's what you went for? How did it work for you? Yeah, it was. It's really funny. I uh, I I kind of you know I I'm not joking. I got cast in a play in eighth grade. Uh, I remember it was a one act play called Final Curtain and I was playing a detective and I, you know, first time we was so nervous. I got on, uh, got on stage and everybody was laughing and it was such a good experience. I kind of, I, I think I remember telling, I was like, well, this is what I want to do. And at that point, people were like, no, not taking you seriously, right? Because they're like, oh yeah, like everybody says, like my son even, like he's like today he wants, you know, he's been wanting to be a hockey player then he wants to be a basketball right. player and then right. yesterday he said he wanted to be an engineer and a veteran like it's every day so that's what they were like oh he's gonna grow out of this but I think since then I never kind of grew out of it I I I kind of thought that's what I was gonna do maybe in my mind I also was like oh at some point I'm gonna give up on this but I I just never did so yeah it was really uh, a passion thing uh, I even at one point tried to leave it I tried to go to law school and wow. become a lawyer because I was like this is just not working uh, but it just pulls you back. I, and I think that's the fashion, right? Like when you're, when you feel like this is, this is what you're meant to do. It just keeps pulling you back. Even if you try to leave it, it just keeps pulling you back. Cause you, I, I enjoy it. It doesn't feel like work to me, you know? Yeah. So I miss it. Like right now, while we're in quarantine, the work has been, um, very minimal. There's been very, there's been, and I, I miss it. I miss being on set. I miss doing, you know, I, I miss that stuff because I really, really enjoy, I enjoy the yeah. work. Yeah, the production part of it too. Yeah, you know, the work that goes into it from behind the scenes as well. Not it's, not just yeah. the, not not just yeah. the act. Um, <clears throat> once they edit the video and not all of that. Oh actual, yeah, no, there's the yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. it's not as it's not all glamorous. It's it's a yeah. lot of work. It's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lot of work. Yeah. So, uh, you know, on that note, like, were yeah. you? Well, as you grew up and you went yeah. to school, you know, like you said, you also wanted to go to law school. Were your yeah. parents uh, kind of supportive with uh, you becoming an actor? How was that? So um, I think that uh, I sort of mentioned it. I, I think that they always just assumed that I would change my mind. Right. Do you know what I mean? Right. They never right. discouraged it, but they kept saying, okay. well, why don't you go get a degree? Why don't you go and do this? And then you can decide, you know, like go through the process. I think the first time they were like, this is serious. And they had a little bit of hesitation uh, is when I was at University of Alberta. I was there for a year and I decided I don't want to do this. I want to go to an acting school in New York. Mm -hmm. And when that happened, I think they had to take, they had to be like, okay, this is serious. Are we going to do this? And it took some convincing. My sister helped. Uh, so I have to say like, they were never like, you can't do this, but okay. they were always like concerned and they were always like, well, have you thought about this? Have you thought about this? And it's hard because as a teenager, when you're when you're doing this, I felt like, why weren't you supportive? Like, why weren't you like, but as a parent now, I also feel like I would do the same thing. Like, are you sure that you want to go through this? There's a lot of rejection. There's a lot of, you know, there's, it, are you 100% certain that this is what you want to do? And that's what they were doing. So I appreciate it now as a kid. It's, it's not as, it's not as easy, but in retrospect, you can say, well, you know what? They were concerned, which they should be because they're my parents, right? Absolutely. So, that was actually going to be my next question, you know, follow up question that as a parent now, you know, yeah. Uh, it's a flip side completely right yeah. and uh, i think <clears throat> at that time especially you didn't uh, your parents probably didn't know of a lot of uh, you know these no. kids like doing you know acting or anything no. like that no and as so, you said even at smileys there at that time there wasn't anybody that we could you know they could go and say this so there was no track record so they were like this doesn't work this is not a real uh, a real thing in their mind and and that's yeah. it's hard i think uh as a parent, I have those concerns, but I also know that we can treat this as a business, right? Like we yeah. under that I understand that this is a business and that this is how it works. My my kids have already sort of dabbled in it. My daughter 
um, had a part. She did a guest star on Perfect Harmony. Nice. And my son and I just got cast in a movie that's going to be shooting in New York, hopefully, when, wow. you know, when we can start shooting again. But so they're already like uh, 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 dabbling in it and they enjoy it. So I, I can, I, I guess I can, I have the, because I've gone through it, I can understand that th this can be a business if they want to do it. And also, mm -hmm. if they're trying it out right now, and if they don't like it, then that's also an option, right? Like they can go do like my son is going to be an engineer and great. Like that's what I heard yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Until yesterday, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's this, uh, um, it's just having that not I just realized that my name, my daughter has put my name as Ayana Manji. <laughs> so if you're on Facebook Live, my name is Rizwan, not Ayana Manji. <laughs> uh, I didn't even notice that. Actually, like, I'm, wait, not, I'm not wearing my just, glasses. She changes it all the time. So I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> uh, so Ayana is, uh, Ayana is all, all your three children, mashallah, they're so sweet. Uh, but uh, Ayana, I feel like uh, I've met her uh, uh, recently on uh, Samira's practice sessions. Yes. Uh, and, and she was doing that. And I was like, man, this is so cool that, you know, your your kids are also uh, taking uh, part in, uh, you know, the artistic world. Uh, and how is that for you as a parent? You know, that a parent that has already done this, you know, because yeah. we don't have that many parents that have already done it in our community, you know. Um, yeah, so as I said, like, I, I just feel like I'm giving, uh, if there's an opportunity, and if they have a, uh, a passion for it, there, she's really interested, she's more, Ayana's more interested in the singing, that's where, that's where she's, uh, she, um, she feels like, you know, more comfortable and all that stuff. So we're just giving, we're giving her the opportunity, she's taking classes. Uh, you know, she's doing the stuff with Samira. She sang a little bit on some of Samira's songs. So uh, we're wow. we're able to whatever whatever it is that they want to explore, we're we're willing to you know to explore that. And you know, just like but you know, all parents are like you know, there's ballet classes and there's gymnastics. This is yeah. just something yeah. uh, something else in that in that realm. And we're leaving it open to whatever they want to do you know yeah yeah so. that's amazing you know we've come a long way as a community uh, yeah and i think uh we are encouraging uh more and more you know of our children and that's what i i want to do on this show as well is to encourage the youth to encourage uh, uh, not just the youth you know people that have been holding holding themselves back because uh they're like i, I don't know if i'll be successful in it you know yeah. i don't know if i can do it because i'm indian or a pakistani or uh you know from some other descent or nobody in my family has done this you know so i don't know uh who to reach out to you know where to get the you know sources or the connections yeah. So, you know, going on that uh, and how social media has changed everything, you know, because yeah. uh, before social media, you had to be a part of the industry to put yourself yeah. out there. Yeah. And now being, you know, like bringing social media in this, this has changed the ball game completely because you don't have to go through any other sources. You just put That's yourself right. out there record uh, and then see who responds to it and who doesn't respond to it. So what, exactly. do, what do you think about this social media uh, thing and independent artists coming up? You know what? I, um, I think it's amazing because you don't need, again, what you said, you don't need an outside source to sort of, uh, to give you the job, really. You're sort of taking it on and you're, and you're, you're doing it yourself. Um, I, I've had trouble, I've had trouble with social media. I'm also older. So it's been, I, when I started, there was no social media and now right. it's sort of like learning after the game, you know what I mean? So I, I'm, yeah. I'm still learning how to like, uh, post. I've also realized that, you have to be very careful. There's been a couple of times that I've tweeted something and it's ended up on the news of what I said. So I was like, oh, I have to just be very careful. So I think a lot before I tweet anything. Uh, so, uh, but you know, it's worked. Like, I don't know if you guys know, I did this movie with this, you guys know who she is, Lily Singh. Um, yeah, of course. Uh, she started off just doing videos. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. On YouTube and on uh, social media. And she's got such a huge following that she now has a late night show and she's going to do a sketch. So we can just tell she she started. She, it wasn't like somebody gave her a job with me. I got hired by NBC. And that's how that's how I got into the business. But she literally got into the business because she was like, I'm not waiting for anybody. I want to do these things. I'm going to just start it. People started watching her. And so I think she's a testament. She's not the only one. There's a bunch of bunch of people like that. So yeah, I think it's a it's it's a great opportunity right now for young people to who are savvy with this to start a um, start a career in that way. Of course, yeah. it's amazing. That, Why not? 
then increases the competition too, right? Yes. Uh, because now you're dealing with uh, thousands and millions of artists all Absolutely. over the world. Absolutely. Uh, you are not just fighting for a spot in a movie anymore. You are literally, if you want to put your channel out there, if you need to do the subscribers or get yourself out there, uh, yeah. then you're competing literally with the rest of the world. You know, Absolutely. that is probably yeah. the same thing. It's, it, yeah, in a way it's sort of, it's in a way it's harder, but it's also, I think, it's so wonderful to be able to see all this thing that we just didn't get to see before. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Uh, how many talented people have just not like in before we just never heard of them because they just never had an outlet for their creativity. Yeah. And now we're able to, to find all these people who have so much to, to, to say, I think we all have it within us and we're just, you know, it's great to be able to express it. Yeah, absolutely. So <clears throat> question for the day and I feel like this is my main question you know uh, for you that how is it acting as a uh, passion you know like just yeah. doing acting uh, out of passion and then yeah. acting as a profession right so yeah. like a, like an actor's life because we, we don't know the behind the scenes you know you know yeah. the behind the scenes and how you feel on the inside when you are acting or playing a certain role uh, when you say you're passionate about it what part of it like brings passion you know uh, yeah. because I mean if people say oh I'm passionate about uh, you know saving lives uh, then yeah. yeah you're applauded for that you know but if you're yeah. passionate about acting what where is that passion coming from what is the you know what is the call? Yeah. Um, I, I'm so to, I'm going to answer your first question first about the passion sure. profession. I, I realized that you need to have a balance of both. And it's very hard because I have some friends who are more talent, like they're, they're, I, I'm going to be very honest, they're more talented than I am. They are really funny and they're really, uh, they're, they're uh, amazing actors. I can think of s several of them, but they might lack in the business aspect of it, right? Like they just, they're so it's hard then, right? Like, as you said, if you don't have that, uh, the, the business uh, uh, sense of it, then you, you can't figure out how to meld those two together to get, get, to get work. And then if you're just business, which is like, I'm just all about business. It's hard then to, to, once you get the job, it's, it, it, it falls flat. Right. So I feel like there, there definitely needs to be uh, a meld of the passion and, and, and because this is a business, it can't just be, it can't just be uh, the thing. And for me, what keeps me going is I, um, I, I love to make people laugh. Do you know what I mean? And I feel mm -hmm. like we, uh, even with political stuff, even with the, the you know, with, with that, what we were talking about, about the, um, with the uh, anti-Muslim stuff that's been going on, yeah, yeah. I feel that I have a voice that I can, can, can bring awareness to these things in, in, in the form of humor. So I don't know if like several years ago, you are very young, so I don't know if you know, but there was, there was this controversy. There was a show called All American Muslim and uh, this company called Lowe's um, uh, hardware store decided that they, they, they got some emails from the family, whatever council saying, you should not advertise on this show because it's showing Muslim to be normal people. And we don't like shows that show Muslims to be normal people. So what Lowe's did was that they removed their ads from, from, wow. this, uh, from, all, from all American Muslim. So I got really upset. And I talked to my friend Pervesh, who was on Outsource with me, uh, and his boyfriend, and we were sitting and we were like talking, the three of us, and we were like, I'm, and he, they were like, they could tell I was really upset, and they were really upset. We said, what can we do? So we went and we we made this commercial, the the, mm -hmm. the lost Lowe's commercial, and it was a joke. And you can, I, I don't want to go through the whole commercial with you, but you can find it on YouTube right now. It's an unaired Lowe's oh. commercial. And we made that we made that uh, commercial as a sort of protest video, and it was funny, and and you know people got it, and we made the point, and we and and they got the point. The, the people who watched was like, look, this is why it, uh, um, it what Lowe's did was not fair, and I think yeah. it was the funny way of making that making that argument instead of just being mad, which is what my initial intent was like. I'm just gonna yell and scream on on social media about how, but nobody yeah. listens to that. But if you find cool. humor in it, then people do become aware, right? So then we got written up in the Hollywood Reporter and the Wall Street Journal and all this stuff because of this one little video. It was like a literally like a, a one minute ad and and it got all this attention. And that was the point. So I think I feel like humor is the way way to go. And that's what brings me passion is if I can do that and bring awareness through humor, then that's what 
that's what i that was a yeah. long rambling answer to your question no but... that was amazing <laughs> because uh, you know we don't we don't realize ke you know acting is not easy it's not just like aapko koi bhi aap kahin pe bhi jaake khade ho sakta and you can just start you know pretending to be that person and you know absorb that character and actually um, you know uh, put out that character you know like present that character so i i want to go into that a little bit as well because yeah. what you just said you know okay uh, you know you were you were also uh, using your voice as an actor for the principles that you have for you know the person that you are for what yeah. you believe in as well yeah. so it is an outlet it is it is a platform right uh, so as an actor of course it requires a lot of confidence you know and then it requires the ability to be able to absorb whatever character that has been put out to you because obviously there are much must be a lot more people auditioning as well and so yeah. what do you think that process that entire thing uh being able to get into somebody else's shoes and then present yeah. them how is it like for you so um it's it's taken a while to figure that out and it doesn't you don't always succeed right like there's so many auditions that we go to where they're like um no nope, i'm sorry this doesn't work do you know what i mean you don't get the job what i've realized lately is um what works is 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 finding the truth in it the honesty what is about this character that that that's close to me and how can i find the truth in that character i don't know if that makes sense but it's it it's hard when you're uh, i think a lot of times when i when i realize after the fact oh this is why i didn't get this job or what what happened is that i was trying to put on a character like put on something that wasn't necessarily me and it becomes fake and it's not it's not honest yeah. and it's not true when you find it within within yourself and you f- and find the truth in it and i also think that's also funnier do you know what i mean mm-hmm. uh the when you when, when the the honest stuff comes uh um comes uh comes across more funny. I even think with the uh, outsource which was a character that I feel like was probably not really like me as Rizwan, but I found the Rizwan in Rajiv and yeah. what I found was that if I can honestly be like he really wants to get married. This is the this is the thing that's going to get and if it then he doesn't care that it's like this the, that he's going to sabotage the white guy. He's going to <laughs> yell at his employees because he has one singular goal and if that's the most important thing that he's not evil, he's just very determined. And if you can yeah. find that truth then it makes it easier to sort of do the uh do the job. but you make it sound so effortless right like you're you're talking about <laughs> you're you're talking about how easy it is so i'm just going to you know go and do uh, this character called oh. rajiv i'm just going to find rizwan in him but it takes so much like you you really have to be able to connect you know to be a good actor uh, and especially be in a comical role because it has to be a natural you know it, it, if you are trying to be funny then you it's, it's very hard yeah it's it is it is and the thing is you don't always succeed right like i as i said there's many times that i've gone and i was like oh i was trying i was i was trying too hard to be funny and that's the that's the worst thing you can do is when you're trying it doesn't and it it doesn't come across real and that's the that's the hardest part but again learning every day right like that's uh i think that's part of it too is um is is just figuring it out every day is like a different lesson and you sort of you know I learn from my kids. Absolutely. I actually when I when I, when they're auditioning for stuff, when I list I I find kids to be very honest because yeah. they don't have any of this other stuff. Like we're they're not trying to do anything. They they're just they saying the, the words, right? Right. Yeah. Right. So they're they're very honest. So I'm like, "Oh, how did my like 9-year-old <laughs> be able to be so real in this?" And I'm still trying to be like really and it's it, you you learn from them because they're they're very very they're very honest and that's yeah. what we we should strive to be more like kids that that'll help that's us <laughs> golden words golden words literally yeah. uh, because uh, they're not holding anything back you know that's, they're just they're, not. They're, they're like yeah they're, they're just doing just it yeah raw yeah exactly yeah. so yeah. um being a south asian actor in hollywood for you right uh from obviously it probably gained a lot of attention you gained a lot of attention from friends family you know from other people obviously uh how was that like because you're such a mashallah say down to earth humble guy so what was that <laughs> like you know just gaining all of that <laughs> and still be grounded you know um how was that and how do you how do you continue to do that what do you um, uh, i mean you don't it, it never like came to you like uh, oh man i'm famous you know like oh my god forget everything <laughs> <laughs> i wish <laughs> I I I do have to say that the uh the South Asian community and specifically the Ismaili community has been very very uh supportive and I and I oh, really appreciate so that. Yeah. And so uh I think that's that that you know that makes it um you know I want to be a part of the community because they're I, they're they're very supportive of it. So um 
it's just it it's a hard question to answer it just feels like a natural thing like i we my my cast of outsourced uh the first thing that we did the first like the show had just uh premiered uh in 2010 and the first thing that we did was we went to the uh partnership walk in uh in wow. santa monica and everybody was so excited to see them and i was like and eh. It, it, it's one of those things that you want to be like, you know what I mean? Because they're so, they're, they're so loving. You want to be a part of the community. You want to, to do all the things. So I, I don't know if I'm answering your question, but like it, it feels natural. And the South Asian community has been very supportive. They were very supportive of outsource. They've been very supportive of all the stuff that I've, uh, that, that I've been doing. So I'm very thankful to be, uh, to, to be given this love from them. I always appreciate it. So you know, that, that's so kind. That's so humble. Again, you know, you just proved my point. But, <clears throat> you know, it's, uh, it's, it's one of those uh, journeys, I think, acting and uh, being a part of something so big and something international, uh, where sometimes it can also be overwhelming. You know, it can be, um, you know, to a point where you're like, I don't know if I want to continue to associate with a certain type of types of people, because you see that happening, you know, as people progress, you know, and it is not in, uh, you know, in the intentions of losing those people or keeping them behind or anything like that. But you would see happening. So was that a part of your journey as well, where you had to uh, shed some old skin off to be able to move on? Or was it, you know, that pretty much it was the same, like it was normal, just out of curiosity. <laughs> um you know what i i i i i'm gonna see if this is what you're asking about other people who have sort of um what what sorry what specifically so about like, other you know, fame basically like fame getting to your head kind of right um and just uh, kind of uh making just making your way into something uh completely different because like you said we we, we also tend to go into a rabbit hole where we're finding yeah. success where yeah we, become, uh, we have yeah. we develop a tunnel vision so what do you have to yeah. say about that you know, I, uh, it's, uh, look, uh, family will keep you grounded. Having, uh, kids will keep you grounded. It's everybody has their own journey and, um, it's, it's, it's definitely hard in this business, uh, uh, to, you, you know, cause on set you get treated with like, with kid gloves, right? Like they're all like, everybody's fawning and everybody, it's, 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 it, it can, it, I noticed it when, when Ayana came on uh, Perfect Harmony mm -hmm. and you know, there's people there who are dressing you, who are putting your makeup on, who are getting you water, who are getting, so it can, it can, it, it, it is in a way that you're almost treated like somebody, like you're incapable of doing first personal things for yourself. <laughs> and it was, and then I, 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 it's weird when it's happening to you, you don't notice it, but when it's happening to your child, you noticed it. So I had, to, I was like, Ayana, you're able to get your own water. You're able to do your own thing. You know what I mean? Like you're, cause you don't want that. You want to be like, you know, and just remember, say, you say thank you to everybody. You are very, you, you, the, every, again, just like we have a job there, we're acting. There's the, the makeup artist is there to do her job or his job. And there's the, there's the person who's doing the wardrobe. And I think if you realize that this is all a community, like you said, this is not just one, it's not just the acting, you see that on the screen, but it's a bunch of people who are doing this. And I think if you always realize that this is the case, then I think you won't get yourself in trouble because you're gonna be, you're, you, you just know like in any job, right? Like at, at the radio station or wherever you are, you treat yeah. everybody with respect. That's, That's the number true. one rule. And as long as the number one rule is treating everybody with respect, then you won't get yourself in trouble. I probably have beautiful. not succeeded all the time, but I've tried. No, that's beautifully <laughs> said. Yeah, and I think uh, the intention, as long as the intention is there, you know, I don't think uh, as humans, we can be 100% perfect. So yeah. <clears throat> I know there was plenty of times on stories that I got really upset about no, some things I, that were going on, but you can, but, but, but it's also passion, right? Like when you're in yes. that moment, I think even with stories when you get passionate about something and you're like, ah, and, but you have to, you know, and that's the, the part that you, you, I have to go and say, okay, hold on one second, calm down and realize that everybody, everybody wants this to succeed. You just need to, we just need to do it together. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. I think uh, I can relate to the, the, you know, the frustration when it comes down to passion, because uh, I've been a dancer pretty much all my life. And as a choreographer, I am not the same person that I am maybe on the radio or maybe, uh, you know, talking to somebody uh, generally, because I yeah. really, you know, feel like we need to go ham at it, you know, and yeah. we just need to, uh, put all of it in there so uh i can relate to that completely i don't think that is any i don't think that has anything to do with fame getting to you. 
I think that just uh, even passion, anything you're passionate about, you will yeah. maybe at one point get frustrated or uh, even uh, aggressive with it. But that's out yeah. of the care for it. That's out of yeah. passion for it. So uh, we are almost uh, at the end of our uh, interview here. Uh, but I, I do want to, to hear from you as uh, someone who has made it in the industry. Uh, what kind of uh, tips or what kind of uh, recommendations or suggestions you have for artists uh, and not just acting uh, and yeah. even as, par as a parent as well? Yeah. Because you are one of the examples uh, that I have uh, on my show, because I really encourage all the parents to push their children, you know, and not, not push them, but like, you know, yeah. if they're interested, if their children are interested, if their children yeah. are showing some interest, not to disregard it, not to disregard it as a hobby, because people are making money from it now, you know, it can, like you said, the first thing when Absolutely. you mentioned this, uh, uh, this thing that people are making money from this, they're growing into this, they're using this as a profession. Uh, so what kind of advice you have for the yeah. children and the parents both? So I said, look, there is definitely two options over here. If you want to just do it as a hobby, that's a lot of people do that. And that's okay. Right. Like if you right. want to do community theater, or if you want to just do it as a thing and do other, that's an amazing thing. A lot of people do that. If you want to do it as a business, I think for parents, as I said, it is a business. People right. make money over here. It's not just, it, it doesn't have to just be a hobby. And uh, you can go to school for this and you you can learn about the business. You, it, it's, and, and you're right, it's not just acting. People make money writing. They, people, they, uh, uh, people make money uh, behind the camera. So there's, there is a lot, there is a huge area uh, of thing. And as we can see, even during a recession, uh, the entertainment industry still survives because people still yes. like people are still watching TV during the quarantine. People are still need they still need to be uh, entertained. It's such a it, it is it, it is a big business. So I, I wouldn't be scared of that is what I'm saying right. Uh, right. for the artists themselves. I, I, I say um, just be aware that there is a lot of rejection. So you're not mm -hmm. surprised by that. Right. It's mm -hmm. not it, it doesn't just happen overnight. It could, but it doesn't just happen overnight. And you have to be aware of that. And it is small steps. Right. Like we didn't just just start off my first audition and you're getting on to an NBC show. There was like little parts and you move up and you move up and you and you build relationships just like that is with any job. And so right. I think I think that's the I think that's sort of the misconception, or at least what I feel uh, uh, people fall into this trap of, OK, I'm going to be an actor. And if it doesn't happen within like two months, I, I can't do this anymore. And that's not really that's not really the case. Right. Uh, I wish for you that it happens in two months, but it, 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 it for most people, it doesn't. Don't take that as failure. Take that as like, look, there's small steps, you know, that you take to 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 getting to your goal that's what i always feel so absolutely and it tip. could also be that uh, maybe uh, you know, things didn't work out the way it did when you like, let's say first time you auditioned, right? Uh, yeah. Maybe you got the part and maybe you didn't do so well on it. Then that's right. You know? Well, so then you, it, but you learn from everything, right? Exactly, like that's, exactly. that's, uh, that's like with any, uh, with any, with any job, I would say, right? Like you learn from your mistakes and uh, even to this day, like just went on audition and then you don't get a job. Like I'm still thinking, okay, well, what did I do? What could I have done better? And sometimes it's not, that you could have done anything better, right? Like you could have done the best that you could do, but you were not right for that part. Yeah. It doesn't even yeah. have to do with you specifically, but you you sort of, you take what you can, you learn from what you, uh, from, uh, from every past thing that didn't happen and you move on and you, and you go on to the next thing. And that's the only way that we can succeed. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much Rizwan Thank for you. being on this show and uh, taking out so much time. Uh, sharing your you know knowledge with us and uh, if there's any you know like question you have <laughs> you can uh, ask away as well <laughs> oh i know i'm like I, I first of all thank you so much uh for letting me be a part of this i had a lot of fun and i'm a big fan of yours as well as you know from uh, the stuff i've seen and your film which i loved um and so um thank you so much and you know you you've been a uh, inspiration to a lot of people so you know thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you Rizwan. i appreciate you so much thank you uh, thank you so much from you know the team of radio zad and thank, thank you so much for myself uh for you know just sharing with us uh, your experiences as an uh, as a south asian actor in, in the hollywood industry uh you know the pros the cons uh, the good the bad and ugly uh so i i really appreciate it i really appreciate your time once again and uh, inshallah in the future uh hopefully whenever you get uh you know that that movie that uh, you and uh, arik uh, are gonna be a part of <laughs> yeah uh, i'll have you for that uh, for the definitely promotion as well. so inshallah in the future
uh, you know, we'll do a round two as well. Awesome. Thank you so much, Thank guys. You. Bye. Thank you, Rizwan. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks. Everybody that uh, is with us on uh, Facebook Live, uh, 